All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out a product that's slightly different, and not just because it's not a pair of headphones on this channel, it's really because it's different. And the product we're gonna look at is the UB Plus E2 Hi-Fi loudspeaker. This is a Kickstarter project. Um, it's coming in at $99. They do have some other little additional add-ons. That's $20, $30, but we'll get into that in a second. So first off, what makes it unique is the look. I mean, it really just looks like a huge plastic bowling ball. So it definitely has a very retro look to it, especially the fact that I have the neon green model. Um, they do have them in tons of different colors, but I think the neon green stands out and actually looks good with the blue that's in this office. But another thing that makes this unique is if you have two of these, you're able to pair them together to have a stereo effect. And that's a nice feature considering these are extremely portable. So I could use them as desktop speakers in here. I could take them into the living room and use them as home theater speakers because they definitely have the volume to back that up. Some of the features that are in here is it has the bass reflex system. Uh, basically it has the port in the back to allow air to kind of channel through. Right above that are your power button. You have your volume up and down button. All of that controls playing, pausing, skipping all the tracks. And then on the side of those, you have your USB-C input, and then you have your auxiliary input. That way, anything that has a three and a half millimeter cable, you can also plug into these. You're also getting the ability to play the best Bluetooth options out of here because these play Aptex, AAC, and SBC. The volume on these get to like 95 decibels. And considering these are only two pounds and they're plastic, that is really loud. Um, as far as functionality goes, um, it has Bluetooth, it has an auxiliary input, and it has a USB-C input. And the USB-C cable is also included into the box. Um, the other thing they included is a very small like tabletop stand. Um, it's magnetic that goes on the bottom of this, so it's easy to just kind of pick up and just transport, and you can sit it anywhere. That's also where the additional accessory options come into place. If you want to use these on the three wooden legs, um, they have like two different sizes available. One's $20 for the smaller one and then $30 for the larger one. Um, so already with their early bird sale that's going on, it's like $100 for the speaker. Uh, and then you'd gotta look at 20 or $30 for the legs if you wanna use them that way, which I do recommend. If you're gonna buy the speaker, the legs are almost a no brainer. But I also recommend if you're gonna buy this, you really get your best value out of getting two of these because of your ability to use them on each side but we're still gonna get into if I think they're worth the price. Now also in the box, it comes with the leather strap. You can kind of hold it like a handle. Um, but one thing I did notice is when you hold it with your whole hand, um, I don't know if it's just expanding it around the thing, around the speaker enough that the speaker can kind of just move back and forth. But if you hold it with one finger, the leather strap still kind of holds it tight and it won't move. But if you think about the versatility of this, like I said, I was able to put it up on the desk and use them as left and right speakers and stuff like trailers and YouTube and movies sounded really, really good. But then you're also able to kind of pick them up, take them into the living room, or take them by the pool, take them in the garage. I mean, you can take them anywhere. I mean, two pounds, picking them up, moving them, there's there's no issue. Now, it also says that these use an app, which I wasn't able to find on the Play Store, even though it said it's on the Play Store and Apple's App Store. But from what I read, the app is really only a remote for these. Um, so it's not adding like any sound features or EQ settings or anything like that. So going into this, when I saw them, I was like, wait a minute, this is plastic and it doesn't weigh anything. And usually lightweight doesn't equal loud sound and it doesn't equal bass impact. And these speakers have some of the most bass I've heard out of any speaker that size. And even a lot of speakers slightly bigger than these. That is also where it starts some of the issues as well. The bass is so strong that sometimes the highs and the mids just can't stand out enough. Now I love bass, but I love for bass to also be balanced out with the mids and highs as well. So if the bass is gonna be pumped up, I want the treble to match that. I don't want to sacrifice everything else because I want to just feel bass. Now it's weird because like with YouTube videos and movies and stuff like that, it was completely fine. Dialogue still came through fine with explosions and things like that. But the weird thing about it is with music, especially certain like bass heavy genres, the bass is so strong that the highs and the mids are just falling back. So those frequencies are paying for the fact that the bass is doing so much. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now also with the sound imaging, the bass being so strong is also having an effect on that as well. Now the stereo effect is actually giving you some really good depth, but at times it's kind of hard to tell where certain things are coming from. Um, and that's usually the case when you have a bass heavy product because you really do have to depend on the mids and the highs to hear details of where things are. And so having this bass heavy speaker, you're going to sacrifice some of that. Again, if you just want bass, if you want to be able to feel it and have that whole impact, these are really gonna be hard to beat. But if you want to hear extreme clarity and you wanna hear all the details, and even if you want like a flatter sound signature, this just isn't gonna do that. So it really comes down to what it is you're looking for. I looked at it more like this. If you want something that you can just casually listen to music, especially just fun genres where you're just wanting to feel bass and then be able to pick it up and go use it as like a home theater speaker or just a speaker to go put out by the pool, this thing holds its value. Because if you buy two speakers and then you buy the more expensive stands, you're looking at about $260. For me, it would be kind of hard because I spend a lot of time in here. That way I just use like desktop monitors or I have tower speakers over to the side. It's just something that I know I'm gonna stay stationary. But if I know I'm gonna use these in a bunch of different locations and I want to just have this amazing bass everywhere, then I could see where it might be worth it. But anyway, guys, that is my review of the UB Plus E2 loudspeakers. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.